<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Economic Week Ahead, brought to you by Business Day in partnership with the Movement Studio. My name is Wasiu Ali, and my colleague is Eniola Olatinji. Uh, today, um, the MPC, the Monetary Policy Committee, will be meeting to determine a likely rate hike this week. I mean, today and tomorrow, actually. So what do you see to this MPC meeting? Do you see another rate hike or maybe the CBN will have to hold its rate? Honestly, you know, we know um, June inflation figures came out high and even the month of month came out high too. Mm -hmm. And this this was shocking for a lot of people. I, I mean, and then we, at business day, we probed analysts and most of them had said that there will be a 50 to 100 basis point hike. Honestly, I don't think business people want to hear another I, rate I don't, hike. I don't think so. From because a 50 or 100 basis points is going to make it maybe almost 27%. Yes, 27%. So it's, inflation... It's, it's already 26.25 um, So inflation, um, interest rates will be 27%. Hmm. That's, that be a that's, that's a lot for businesses. So that's a lot for businesses. But like they meet today, mm -hmm. but they decide what... MPC is um, NPR is decided tomorrow. So but, but for me, I think um, I think the MPC would likely hold rates uh, because you know inflationary pressures are still on. And so for more reason is that um, the federal government had removed tariff on food importation and all that. So analysts, some analysts actually are projecting that some of these measures will take effect on inflation, and so inflation will begin to moderate from July. Yeah. So there might not be there there really so there there are, there are a couple of factors that are for 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 inflation coming down and for mm -hmm. it increasing. Removing tariffs or food importation and um high base effects is one of those factors that's um, factored in, I mean, to say that it will inflation will come down. come down. But there's also the part of like Naira stability. Mm, now Naira is at eight thousand six hundred because this is the time where people Usually, um, demand for Naira, the demand for Naira is higher because like people are traveling, trying to travel. Mm, so there was the fuel, there was the fuel scarcity early this month. Mm. There That's was that measure actually, but it's still that higher food prices. So, mm -hmm. although analysts have projected that the high base effect and um, the fiscal policies intervention would, would see outweigh mm -hmm. this, but that's what we really expect. For me, I am the opinion that they should to raise increase high. that. You need, to, <laughs> you need to fight it. All right, you need to fight it. Let's, let's just see what will happen. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow you can check our website, website to right. know what the results of the MPC meeting is. Yeah, the National Bureau of Statistics will be releasing the selected food price watch today, Monday, yeah. and of course, uh, food inflation for June rose to 40.87%. That food inflation, it, it's fine. it doesn't even used to decline. You know, one of, <laughs> one, of the major, one of the major drivers of inflation is um, food inflation. Of course, food prices are going up. Um, farmers have abandoned their farms. Ex Gary, rice, beans, Everything yam, is expensive. Seals, nothing, like, nothing so, is... Even globally, some food prices are, food prices are even coming down. But mm. it is not reflecting in Nigeria it's not reflecting. at it's not all. Reflecting. And one major reason why it's not reflecting is because of the low um, output, low, low input uh, in yes. agricultural uh, sector. Sector, yeah. And of course, uh, the insecurity concerns too. So well, let's just let's just see what MBS will come up with today in today, their report. Yes, on Friday, the ICO Insurance will be holding its annual general meeting, its fifty fourth annual general meeting, and in this meeting, it will be seeking approval from its shareholders to for the approval of a of one point eight three billion naira shares, and also it will also be seeking approval to pay five kobo per every share to its shareholders. Mm -hmm. um, so this is to be, it's holding in Lagos on Friday and you could just check our website to know what the outcome of that meeting was. So you said Naira is already heading to 1,600. Yes, but you, it that, is 1,630 this oh my morning. Days. This oh my morning. This morning. last time I checked, I saw it for, for 1,000. Yeah, as the last week it was very close to 1,600, but it did not bust. And this morning it is, but even the CBN, um, released um they released um a report not reports but like a circular saying explaining why the Naira Naira, is and it's, it was like due that. to two factors um one is um the demand like i said earlier the now is, is the time up. people demand. go 
for summer. summer yeah. People pay for their school fees. Mm. So higher demand would definitely trigger hard pressure to Naira. Yes, it will have pressure to Naira, and that's why it's about this price. It's not because oh, it's not. It's not. We've not. It's not like those um um pressures we saw earlier during the mm-hmm. year when it was about one eight. So I think that. Once this season is over, like it will Dinero go back will to what it used to be, yes. Right. And it's already been projected that it will be about a thousand four hundred mm-hmm, by the end of the year. By the end of the year, so I still very much believe that it's on that part. Okay, so let's just see. Let's just hope. You know, we are always ending our program with being hopeful and optimistic. Let's see. Let's hope that in era, in no too distant time, um, see some sort of gains. Yeah, and, so, and even. Um, with the decision of the MPC mm-hmm, yeah. this week, if they are, if they likely, if they likely raise, raise, a, I, I um, mean, raise. raise, most we've seen the Naira appreciates around seasons where there is a rate, rate hike. Like, just mm. off in April, we saw how the Naira did like, um, it did it was best, the best performing, performing currency in currency the world. world. So let's just yes, there's, there's really so much op- personally. Mm. For the Naira. You're an hopeful person. I'm very hopeful. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that was, so that would just be it. Let's just hope that Naira has some yes. sort of gains. Um, and, not too distant time. Yes. And that will be it for today on the Economic Week Ahead. For further insights on our stories, you can visit our website at www.businessday.ng. And you can also follow us on our social media platforms at Business Day NG. My name remains Eniola Olatinji. And, and I am Wasil Ali. See you again next Next week. week. Bye. Bye. More in-depth analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.